Kathleen from Roots and Boots and I'm here with my oldest son Malachi on our porch. He is tanning rabbit hides that have been stored in the freezer and now he's finally tackling this project. So he's going to show us the steps that he's taking to tan rabbit hides. Okay, so the first step is to spread the rabbit hide out on a board. The first ones I did, I nailed them down to stretch them out, but that left little holes. So now I'm just going to do the best I can without the nails. So that's the first step. And this is what the end result will be. We're going to cover them in salt, which will make the fleshing process easier. Fleshing is when you get all the flesh off the skin, like with a butter knife or something. But before that, we need to cover the whole hide in salt. Just normal table salt will work. And make sure you get all the skin showing. Uh, make sure it's all covered in salt. And make try not to get it on any of the hair as much as possible. A little bit is okay. And that will make the skin almost scummier so you can like push the parts that will rot off and end up with just the skin. And next I'm gonna cover all three of them with a towel so the flies don't get them or the dogs. The dogs will eat them and then just cover it at both ends so it won't blow off. And then I'm going to leave that for like three days and then come back and flush them and then leave that, tan, tan and tan them and then leave that for a little longer and then I can have my hides. Okay, so the third step is to use a butter knife to scrape the flesh off the hide to get just the skin. You kind of push it off like this and then it'll come off in, in layers like this. Try not to tear the skin, but if it tears, that's not a big deal because you can just sh sew it later. Um, but the less the skin tears, the better it will be for you. The next step is to tan the actual tanning process. The tanning solution I use is just an egg yolk. So the first thing you want to do is crack an egg and separate the yolk from the whites. Like this, which I'm hoping I'm going to do right. You can discard the egg whites somewhere else because you only need the yolk. And then you just scramble it like you would for scrambled eggs. And then get some on your fingers and then just rub it all into the hide and really really rub it in and get it out to the edges but try not to get it on the hair as much as possible if you do that's fine So the reason we put the egg yolk, rub it into the hide, is it, it will keep it from rotting and falling apart when you use it, so you can use it like a blanket. And then after you rub the yolk in, and you cover it with a wet cloth, and I put borax on it to keep the flies off it so they don't come eat it. Um, and then in like three days, I'll come back and wash it, and then it'll be ready to soften and use. The next step is to wash the hide, to get all the egg yolk off it. You just want to wash it thoroughly, trying not to get much water on the actual fur.
it'll still be a little yellow, but that's okay. And yolk stains it a tiny bit. Then the last step is to dry the hide. I just put it in an old towel and sort of pat it dry. And the hide, it's not going to get completely dry by just rubbing it and patting it. It'll also kind of make it shed. So I just leave it there to drip air dry for a few hours. And I'll come back and get it. Okay, so the final step is after you let it dry in the towel for a few days, just take it out and then... After it's been cleaned, it'll kind of dry a little bit stiff, but the more you use it, the softer it'll get. And that's how you tan a rabbit hide.